going to show you guys how we're going to installing a one of our Kydex cheek pieces on your wood stock that does not have the provisions for that or a plastic stock. So this way you can get adjustable eye relief to get your scope lined up. So what we're going to do, I always like to use a little bit of tape, put your cheek piece on where you want it to be, make sure your bolt is back as far as it can go to make sure that you don't end up with interference between your bolt and your cheek piece. What I like to do is set down exactly where I want it, like about right there plenty of room for the bolt and then I like to just mark the top on both sides okay then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our drill bit 2964 what I like to do for this is I like to take the insert if I don't drop it and what I like to do is I like to measure out how tall your insert is with some tape and make sure that we have a good marker for how deep we need to go with our drill bit that way we don't drill all the way through or you know, make a mess out of it, something that we don't want to make a mess out of. So your insert, tape it, go ahead and you drill it, and we'll show you pictures of that. So then you just drill right on your marks. So All right, after you get all four holes drilled, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our inserts, you have four of them, and a six millimeter Allen wrench, and you're going to insert them into the drilled hole. And while you're pushing in pretty hard with your Allen wrench, you're just gonna twist this thing right on in, it'll self tap. And once you get all the way in, you can tighten it down nice and flush. So then what we can do after that is I'll show you how to adjust the cheek piece. All right, after all four inserts are installed, we're gonna take all four of our flange head quarter 20s and we're gonna install all four of these into the inserts through the cheek piece. So we'll spin all these in. Then we'll do the adjustments after we get this last one in. Okay, so then what I like to do is leave it just a tiny bit loose so it'll kind of move and stay where you want it to be. So that way it just kind of hangs out there. What you do then, you open up your scope, get your face down until you get the nice clear objective. Once you get that, you can move this piece around until you get it perfect and play around with it a little bit. After it's there, Grab your 5.30 seconds again and finish tightening if you don't let it move. And then you have to redo it. But for the purpose of the video, we'll just go ahead and crank it in. So then you just adjust it, move it, tighten it down. That's all there is to it. And check them out on our website. Thank you.